I'm going to show you how to make money outside your programming job with no investment needed. None of these ideas I'm about to list require you to spend a single dime, but they will require you to invest a lot of time. Each of these ideas also provides a way to generate passive income for you. So you won't see things like software as a service appear in this video because it's very difficult to launch one without time and money. Let's get right into it. Idea number zero overarching theme. If there's one thing you take away from this video is that the most important thing for you if you don't have money is an audience of people who want something from you. Whether it's an information product, a service, or something else, there's probably someone who wants it and you need their email address. Why? It's because if you don't have money, then paid advertisements are out of the picture. The only other way to get your offer in front of people's eyes is to meet them where they are and offer them something they want. The following business ideas will all give you both a way to grow your audience and a way to monetize it. Idea number one, start a YouTube channel. YouTube is probably the best way to grow an audience for free, and that's why I'm doing it myself. Duh. The biggest advantage that YouTube creators have over something like Instagram or a blog is that it's actually possible for the average person's content to get discovered. YouTube wants people to spend more time on the platform, so besides just the search bar, they'll even suggest your videos to people who weren't searching for it. Don't get me wrong, you can still use Instagram or a blog, but that should just be supplementing your main platform, as it's probably not reliable enough as a main entry point. And let's be honest for a second, nobody on Instagram cares about coding. Though YouTube is a good idea for most anyone, I specifically recommend it for programmers because 100% of your target audience is on the internet. A significant part of that audience is also on YouTube. You can also earn money from ads on your videos once your channel reaches a certain scale. Besides just ad revenue, your growing audience can be monetized by selling info products or courses. Or you can convert subscribers into email signups with lead magnets. I'll cover info products and courses later in the video. Here are some examples of YouTube channel ideas you can start today. Teaching concepts taught in computer science courses. Technical interview tips. Guides on popular languages or libraries. Vlogs about your life as a programmer. Or funny or interesting skits about programming. Idea number two, sell an online video course. Probably the most straightforward way to sell your knowledge about a topic is to sell a course about it. With sites like Udemy or Coursera, you can sell courses without having to worry about payment processing yourself. I will say though that for popular languages, libraries, and frameworks, it might be hard to stand out from the competition. If your focus is primarily to grow your audience, you might consider creating a free course. For example, Dr. Andrew Eng, co-founder of Google Brain and former Baidu chief scientist, has a very famous machine learning course available for free on Coursera. This is actually how I learned who he was. However, if you're creating a free course, in my opinion, you're better off using YouTube and then distributing workbooks and quizzes as lead magnets to drive email signups. If you're actually able to sell some copies, then this counts as passive income. As once the course is created, it can bring in money on its own. But I want to stress the importance of creating a high quality course, especially if you're charging a couple hundred dollars. If it's not worth the money, you'll get poor reviews and lose out on future sales. Idea number three, start an email course. An email course is usually offered for free as a way to generate leads, but there's not really anything saying you can't charge a fee, especially if the knowledge you're offering has high value, like a programming language that has high paying jobs. You can make money directly off that like any other course. Course. The caveat is that since most email courses are free, if you want to compete with those, you need to create something of high enough quality to be worth the money. Another caveat is that the type of content you can embed in an email is relatively limited, but the benefit here is that you get people used to seeing emails from you and actually wanting to read them. I kind of love that. Similarly to a video course, once you've created your email course, it's technically passive. But keep in mind that if you're giving the course away for free, you might not be able to monetize it at all. Since you can't embed things like Google ads in email. If you want to send people recurring emails, but don't want to create a course, you can try the next idea. Idea number four, start a newsletter. At the beginning of this list, I mentioned the importance of collecting the emails of your audience. What do you do once you have people's emails? You have to provide them something of value. Otherwise, you're no different from the thousands of spammers and advertisers bombarding their inboxes every single day. If you don't have a product or don't have an idea of what to send your audience, try a newsletter. Every week or on some other recurring schedule, send your audience high quality content related to news or trends in your niche. Or is it niche? Or niche? However you pronounce it. Take, for example, trends.vc, a newsletter created by Drew Riley. Now with 50K subscribers, he has two versions of his newsletter, one free and one paid version with extra perks. In a field like tech or programming, there's always something new going on, so a newsletter is a pretty good idea. Like all the other ideas, 
This one comes with caveats of its own. Firstly, it takes a lot of time to make something of quality, and since you have to do it on a recurring basis, you might not be able to simultaneously run something like a YouTube channel. Now this seems like a no-brainer, but when you consider that you have to find a way for people to discover your newsletter in the first place, it's not so obvious how to work around this. That being said, it's still a good way to build both profits and an audience simultaneously. You just won't be building passive income directly. Idea number five, offer tutoring. Offer tutoring at your alma mater or local community using Facebook groups and Discord servers. You can do tutoring via Zoom or potentially in person. You'll need to be careful about promotion though, as lots of groups have rules against this. But considering that there's a pretty good chance you know a lot of people in the community, you can get pretty far on word of mouth alone. Oftentimes, people just ask for help directly in the groups and there's usually low competition. If you're looking to build passive income off this, your best bet is to repurpose footage of the tutoring sessions into YouTube videos and other content. Hmm, are you noticing a theme here? Keep track of which questions your students are asking you, as there's a pretty good chance that people are also typing those into Google or the YouTube search bar. Make sure you remove the other person's face from the video though, unless they give explicit permission. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button. Idea number six, offer mock interviews. Especially if you have a lot of experience doing technical interviews, you can make money offering mock interviews. There's a very clear niche for this, tech job seekers. And it's already been validated by businesses like LeetCode and Pramp, though Pramp kind of works differently. In my opinion, mock interviews are way better than something like LeetCode because you actually have an actual human there with you. As opposed to a free crowdsourced service, you can use your industry experience to your advantage. Just make sure your current employer allows this though. For example, if you work at a FANG company, you're probably contractually bound to not do this. Similarly to tutoring, you can build passive income off this by turning clips into YouTube videos, as well as selling the full videos or making them free on YouTube in order to grow your audience. For content this long and valuable, I personally would charge, probably a lot, but it's up to you and your goals. Follow me, thanks for watching.